Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to solve this paper of IGCSE for course students. This is paper 1 of October November 2020. Time allocated is 1 hour and uh, you all know the instructions and total marks of this paper is 56. So let's start. Question 1. Write 2017 uh, in figures. So, 2017. It's a very simple question. 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000s place. So, 2017. So, question number 2. Write 867 correct to nearest 10. So, we are rounding this to 10s place. So, this is 1s and this is 10. So, we need to put, see here, uh, the digit right, right hand digit is 7 which is more than 5. So, we are going to add 1 in this side. So, this will become 8, 7, 0, 817. Question number 3, you can see this shape here. Write down the order of rotational symmetry of this regular octagon. Uh, because this is a regular octagon, that means all the sides are same. Uh, so, it has 8 sides. So, if you will rotate it again and again up to 360, so you are going to get this same shape 8 times because they are 8 same uh, sides. So, rotational symmetry will be 8. Number Four, a bag contains 20 balls. Five of these balls are red. A ball is picked at random from the bag. On the probability scale, draw an arrow to show the probability of this uh, ball is red. Uh, so we have uh, the number of red balls, it's five. So probability will be here. Probability of red ball will be five out of 20. So that means this is 1 over 4. So 1 over 4 is uh, like 0 0.25. So we need to see where is two, 0 0.25. So this is 0. Point, uh, this will be 0 0.50. So halfway between this. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is 0 0.1, 0, 0 0.20. 0 0.30 0 0.40 so 2.5 will be here so we are going to put arrow in the middle of uh, 0 0.20 and 0 0.30 number 5 work out the number of hours in 3 days so we have 3 days here so in 1 day there are 24 hours so we are just going to multiply by 24 which is 72 so 72 is here Now, question number 6. Uh, write these in order of size starting with the smallest. So, we are given different numbers here. We have fraction also. We have percentage, decimal and again fraction. So, it's hard to know which one is smallest like this. So, we can convert them into same form. Either you can convert it to fraction, uh, percentage, decimal, whatever. So, I am going to convert all of them into percentage. Now, let's see. 11 over 27. 11 divided by 27 times 100 will give you percentage. This is 40.74. So, this is 40.74 percentage. This is 41 already there. So, 0 0.4. 0 0.4 times Hundred. So this is forty percent. This one is forty percent, and next is sixteen divided by thirty nine. Sixteen divided by thirty nine times hundred. So this is forty one point zero two. So forty one point zero two percentage. Now we will see which one is smallest. If you look around here, so this is forty percent. So this will come the first place uh, so which is 0 0.4 remember that you have to write an answer in the original form right so this is 0 0.4 40 percent after 40 we have 
seven four. So secondly, we have here eleven over twenty seven. Then forty one and forty one point zero two. So this is number three, which is forty one percent, and this is the last one sixteen over thirty nine. So remember to write down answer in the original form, whatever numbers you had before. So let's move to next question. Question number seven. Solve the equation. Solve the equation means we need to find out the value of x. So we can shift two x to other side. So three x is already there plus two x. So this is six. Three plus two it is five x. So divide by five. Divide by five. So this is gone. So we are left with x equals to six over five. Or it can be written one one over five. So its answer may be, you can write down six over five, or it is one one over five as a mixed fraction. Right now, number eight. Work out the difference between uh, in temperature between negative six and uh, positive five. So don't get confused here. You can just use a number line here. We need the difference between the temperature. So your temperature zero is here. So five will be somewhere here on the right hand side, and negative six is this side. So this is negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and negative five. So you see, you have six here and five here. So the difference is eleven. So you are not writing any sign in there. So uh, you see, it is wide apart like this. So uh, six this side, five this side. So it is eleven. Question number nine. Uh, a is one over four b c squared. Calculate the value of a when b. We are given the value of b and c, so we need to find out value of a. So we are just going to replace the values. B is three, b times c squared. C is six, and then it is squared. So one over four times three times six times six. It is thirty six. So four times nine. Is thirty six nine times three is twenty seven, so final answer will be twenty seven. You can directly use calculator also for this. Now question number ten, you can see this diagram here with two parallel lines. The diagram shows a triangle drawn between a pair of parallel lines. We have this and this line is parallel. Find the value of x and y. We need to find out these values. So we are going to use the properties of parallel line here. Uh, so if you see this one here, uh, if you look around this one, we have C shape here. You can see this is C shape, which is co-interior angle. So angles inside they are co-interior. So x plus 120. So sum of co-interior angles is always 180. So from here we can find out uh, the value of x. So this x is 60 degrees. Okay. So we are going to put 60 degrees here. Now we need uh, angle y. So for that you need to look for another shape. As these are parallel lines, if you see here, you can have this. Z shape this way. We have Z shape. So whenever you have Z shape, these are called the alternate angle. So this angle plus and sorry, this angle they will be equal. So that means looking at this Z shape, we have these co-interior angles. So that means x plus y. Sum of these two will be equals to 140 degree. Why? Because they are. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, these are uh, alternate angles. So x is sixty. We already found that plus y equals two hundred and forty degrees, and y will be hundred and forty minus sixty, which is eighty degrees. So value of y is eighty degrees. So this is how you can do this question. Okay, so number eleven, you can see two diagrams here. 
the diagram shows cuboid a and cuboid b this is a and this is b uh, cuboid a has same volume as cuboid b so volume is same now you know the volume of the cuboid is length times width times height so this is the formula calculate the height h of cuboid b so we need to find out this one this h here but we are given that volume of both is same so let's say uh, the volume one uh, of the first cuboid a and this denotes volume two so volume one and volume two we are given equal so volume of this v1 that will be length times width time height so length width and height so it is eight times five times twelve and v2 volume of this length width is given this so it is 16 times 10 and then height height is given as h so we can easily calculate that one uh, so uh, if you see so from here uh, you shift this one to other side these two and so it is 8 times 5 times 12 over 16 times 10 or you can just divide both sides by this 16 times 10 so you will left with only a chair this 16 is gone this 10 is gone so we are left with this you can use calculator for that uh, 8 times 5 times 12 divided by we have 160 so which is 3 so our answer is height will be 3 in this case Question number 12, Fernando records are uh, the favorite sport of each of 20 people. So these are the uh, sport names here. Complete the frequency table to show this information. You may use the tally column to help you. So it's easy. We can just uh, make tally chart and then we can add them to get the frequency. So football, football, cricket, can put cricket here then again cricket cricket is going this call uh, rugby is here again rugby tennis will go here cricket cricket is in this column football will go here rugby again goes here tennis in the tennis column rugby is here football there again football in the football column uh, now make sure that here when you have this fourth and fifth line we are going to uh, draw the slant line uh, rugby will go here football again here cricket rugby football football again and cricket so you see so now we will count it. So this is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is 5, 6, 7. This is 5 and 1, 6 and this is 2. So that's how we will complete this table. Part B. Fernando wants to draw a pie chart to show this information. Work out the sector angle for football. The football angle. So football is here. Okay. So, as you know, like the total, this is total for 20 people. So, we are given this total is 20. So, this total here it is 20. Uh, so, we are looking for the sector angle of football. So, football is 7 out of 20. But to draw a pie chart, so pie chart is like this. To draw a pie chart, we are talking about 360. So, out of 360. So just simplify this 7 times 360 uh, divided by 20. So we get 126 degrees. Okay. Now move to question number 13. Increase 40 by 16%. So we want to increase 42 by uh, 16. So when it is increase so for increase we are taking 100 plus this 16 so that percent will be of 40 
2 so we can see the increased value will be 116 percent of 42 so that means 116 over 100 times 42 so let's calculate that 116 times 42 and divided by 100 so it is 48.72 so this will be 48.72 so remember you are not writing percentage here because we are increasing 42 so your answer will be uh, 48.72 only So let's move to question number 14. You see we are given here a sequence. These are the first four terms of a sequence. Find the next term. So we need to observe this. What is the pattern here? If you see numbers are decreasing. So if you move here like this the numbers are decreasing. So the decrease is it's easy to calculate here. So 17 minus 10 it is minus 7. So minus 7. See all are going minus seven uh, so the question here it is first part find the next term so we have four then minus seven again minus seven so minus seven because both are negative so this will become 11 negative minus 11 is the final answer so write down the term to term rule for continuing this uh, sequence as you have and see like we have done this here so what we did here, we have subtracted 7. So uh, rule is subtract 11, oh, sorry, 7, subtract 7. Part B, uh, these are the first four terms of a different sequence. Now this is a different sequence, it has nothing to do with the previous one. Uh, find an expression for the nth term. So we need to find out the nth term as this is a sequence we need to know like how this is increasing like 6 plus 4 so we are adding 4 here okay so first term I mean uh, the uh, formula for nth term it is a n is a plus n minus 1 times d where a is the first term a is the first term first term is negative 2 plus n nth term d d is the common difference the difference is 4 so we calculate this negative 2 when you open the bracket 4 times n it is 4n minus 4 so now you see we have 4n and then we are going to add this 4n minus 6 so final answer will be the expression is 4n minus 6 now number 15 you can see the diagram here uh, the area of triangle ABC now we are given area it is 27 centimeter square and AB is 6 centimeter calculate the height so as you know the area of triangle is equal to half times base times height right half times base is 6 and height is H and this area is 27 so we can replace it by 27 so if you simplify this will be 3 so 27 equals to 3 h divide by 3 divide by 3 so 3 times 9 so height is 9 uh, centimeters you need to write down the unit also question number 16 part a we have this diagram here on the grid write down the coordinates of point a so here is point a so we will go down here to see to get the point of x so x is negative 2 and then along this way y is 5 so answer is negative 2 and 5 part 2 on the grid plot point 2 and negative 3 x 2 this is x and this is y x is 2 x 2 here y negative 3 1 2 and 3 so this is point this is the point we are talking about here 2 and negative 3 now part 3 the line l is shown on the grid find the equation of the line l in the form y equals to mx 
plus C. So this is line L here. So you can choose any two points. Like if I take, let's say I'm taking this point here and I'm taking this point here. So I need to know the, uh, what we call uh, this uh, gradient. So gradient is, uh, we denote gradient by M. It is rise over run. So rise is along y axis like it see uh, run is this way so 1 2 so this is rise 1 2 and run is 1 2 3 and 4 so we have 4 units this way and 2 this way so it is going to be uh, 2 over 4 which is 1 over 2 so slope is 1 over 2 uh, so that means 0 0.5 right now the equation of the line y equals to uh, m m value of m we got 0 0.5 x plus c c is y intercept uh, y intercept where the line intercepts y axis so this is 2 so c value of c is uh, 2 here so plus 2 so this will be our final answer 0 0.5 x plus now part b write down the equation of the line parallel to this uh, y equals to 5x plus 6 that passes through this now here if you see the slope of this line the gradient of this line m1 i will denote it at is 5 okay so m2 will also be 5 because if the lines are parallel then uh, slopes are equal for parallel lines slopes are equal right so now the equation of line will be y equals to 5x plus c so this line it passes through 0 and minus 7 so x 0 y 7 minus 7 so 5 times 0 plus c so from here c is negative 7 so our line will become it is zero point five y equals to i'm sorry uh, slope is 5 5 x minus 7 so this will be our answer here Question 17. Without using a calculator, work out this. You must show all your working and give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. So we have 5 over 6 divided by. So this can be like 1 times 3 plus 1. We can uh, convert this into as a improper fraction. 3 times 1 it is 3 plus 1 that is 4. So it will become 4 over 3. Then we have 5 over 6 this will turn to times and this will become 3 over 4 we are taking reciprocal of that so now you can see this is 15 over 24 so both are divisible by 3 so divide by 3 divide by 3 so this is 5 over 8 so the final answer is 5 over 8 question 18 part a the length L of pencil is 18 cm, correct to nearest centimeter. Complete the statement about the value of L. So we need here upper and lower bound. So uh, for the upper bound and lower bound. So for that, because this is nearest centimeter, so uh, 1 centimeter, you take half of that, that will be 0 0.5. So we are going to add 0 0.5 and we are going to subtract 0 0.5. So, in upper bound will be 18 plus 0 0.5, it is 18.5 and 18 minus 0 0.5, this will be 17.5. Part B, write 9.345 uh, times 10 raised to power 5 as an ordinary number. So 9, 3, 1, 4. So 10 power 5, that means there are 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. And there are 3 decimal places. 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3. 
so decimal should come here so this will go so you are left with here uh, 9314 and two zeros so this is the final answer now uh, we have this calculate 4.1 times uh, 10 raised to power minus 3 8.9 times 10 power 7 give your answer in the standard form so we are going to multiply these two first 4.1 times 8.9 times 10 power negative 3 plus 7 so this comes out to be 4.1 4.1 times 8.9 this is 36.49 so 4.1 let me check again 4.1 times 8.9 36.49 10 is to power 4 but we need answer in standard form so this will be 3.649 times 10 raised to power uh, we are moving this decimal one left so we are going to subtract one from here so this will become three so final answer is part c calculate uh, this um, number whatever is given so we can just use calculator so it is square root in bracket we have 8 plus uh, 4 times 75 raised to power 0 0.6 so you can see we have answer 7.8323 but we need to uh, limit our answer to three significant figures so that will be 7.83 is the final answer question number 19 the length of one side of rectangle is 12 the length of the diagonal of rectangle is this so let's say we have this diagonal uh, sorry rectangle here uh, so length is 12 centimeter and the diagonal is this diagonal is opposite uh, side so this is 13 centimeter so calculate the area of the rectangle for so find out the area of the rectangle area of rectangle is length times width so we need this width here uh, as you know this will be 90 so this is a right angle triangle so we can easily use Pythagoras theorem in that so Pythagoras theorem uh, it will be uh, 13 square hypotenuse square equals to sum of other two sides so this is 169 this is 144 plus w and so 169 minus 144 uh, this one is 25 w square so w will be 5 okay so if this is 5 then we can find out area of rectangle area of rectangle is length times width and length is 12 times 5 so it is 60 so final answer is 60 centimeter squared number 20 number 20 alex and Craig's chris share sweets in the ratio uh, 7 to 3 so we are given here Alex and Chris this is 7 this is 3 so Alex receives 20 more than Chris so let's say Chris receives X and then he Alex receives X plus 20 so we are going to put here X and here it is X plus 20 now just cross multiply so this will be 7x equals to 3 times X plus 20 20 so 7x it is 3x plus 60 just open the brackets here uh, 7x minus 4x will be 60 7 minus 4 it is 3 yeah so 3x equals to 60 so x will be 60 over 3 which is 20 so x was for Chris that was our answer how many uh, this uh, 
sweets grace received so it is 20 uh, sorry guys I have made mistake here this is 3x so we are going to put 3 here so let me just do it again uh, here it is 7x minus 3x is 60 so this is 4x equals to 60 so x will be 60 over 4 which is 15 so our answer is going to be 15 question 21 uh, write 825 as product of prime factor so we can make factors but we should take only uh, here the prime numbers so we can start with 5 so 165 so again divide by 5 this is 33 3 and 11 so you see I have taken all the prime numbers here so product of primes that means we got 5 2 times then 3 times 11 so that's the final answer now number 22 we have this triangle here show that the value of x is 27.223 significant figures as this is the angle uh, 36 so this is adjacent side here and this is opposite and this is hypotenuse so we are going to use Sokatoa here So we have, we need, want to involve these two, adjacent and hypotenuse. Adjacent and hypotenuse we will have, and we are using cos here. Cos of 36 will be opposite, I'm oh, sorry, uh, it's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is uh, 22 over hypotenuse is x. Right, so just cross multiply. So, so we have here cos will be x cos 36 over. So after cross multiplication you will get here x will be 22 over cos 36. So this comes out to be 27.19. So to 3 significant figure it will be 27.19. So value of x, that's what we want to show. We got 27.2. Question 23. This is last question of this paper. Uh, so we are given these two triangles and these two are similar triangles. Calculate ut. We need to find out this one. As they are similar, so the ratio of the triangles will be same. So we can take this ut over this. As triangles are similar, we can directly write down ut over 63. Then we can take this side and this. It is like 12 over 54. Then just cross multiply. Ut will be 12 over 54 times 63. So if you calculate this comes out to be 14. So answer is 14 centimeter. So that's the end of this paper. This was the last question. Uh, so... I hope you understood all the question but even if there is anything you can let me know in the description box I will try to explain it again please like the video if you liked it and share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much god bless you guys